Okay, welcome back. We are crocheting with Christy today. This is um, an introduction to our hats, hats and more hats for September. It is a little bit different than we usually do. I want to introduce September's yarn of the month, uh, spotlight yarn. Why am I using basic stitch? I did before. Well, because I have it and I'm also was asked to do a special project and I decided the best yarn for that project was basic stitch so hats hats and more hats for September the winner will receive a hank or a skein of basic stitch anti pilling this is a lion brand yarn very very soft you will get a skein of this colorway, which is called Precious Stone. It is a uh, self-striping or variegated. It is 153 yards, and it is a four medium. Beautiful, beautiful yarn. I thought it paired very well with the Accru colorway, which is also the four medium. Now, they may make basic stitch in other weights. I'm not sure but they have increased the solids to 185. So these are um, a little bit different in yardage than each other. There you go. It's about 32 yards more in the solids. So the accru um, goes very, like I said, they go very well together. I'm going to put both of these into the September drawing usually i just do one skein we talk about the yarn and it's enough to make a hat but this way if you wanted to do color work or you wanted to and i've done that before i have spotlighted this yarn before so basically the reason why i'm doing it is because i'm going to be making something and i'm going to do it um along with you guys if you don't mind so here is the spotlighted stitch marker for the month of september September is my birthday month, and so I decided to use a dragonfly for my love of Outlander for this month. So there you go. Your winnings this month will be two skeins of the basic stitch. All right, so I also am going to use this as a chance to tell you what is the pattern of the month. My daughter-in-law asked me to do a hat that would be for the baby, the new baby, and she would be around three months size when she wore it. I believe that's probably stretching it, but we're going to do three months size. So here is the white in the basic stitch. And I have a little bit of red that I'm going to use for this hat. What the hat is is a toad stool or mushroom hat from the Mario Brothers game so it's a white hat with red round spots on it <laughs> and so it'll make her look like she has a little top uh, mushroom hat on now, there is more parts to this outfit that I'm supposed to make as well. 
and I have a deadline of th less than three weeks. So we're going to work on the hat for the month of September, which kills two birds with one stone here, which we're not killing anything, but you know what I mean. And then that way I can use the same yarn as you win and still make a hat that is uh, requested. <laughs> Alrighty. So I picked out a pattern and they are using an H hook. And what I'm going to do today on the show is I'm going to make, um, well, I'm, I'm going to start with the red. And the reason for that is it's just for the tutorial and being able to crochet along together for a minute and just, you know, sit back and talk and then, uh, it, it'll give us content. <laughs> I just thought that would be perfect. So the pattern is on Ravelry. And it, it actually is not on Ravelry. It's I found it on Ravelry, but it's a free pattern. So it'll be linked below in the description box. And it is by Damn It Janet Let's Crochet. That is the name of her website. And it's the Mario Brothers Mushroom Beanie. So you start out with uh, an H hook and worsted weight yarn. You'd use the main color as, well, she uses the main color as the dark color. And then does the spots white. And she also does ear flaps on this. I am not going to do the ear flaps, I don't believe. Um, I may show the picture to her to my daughter-in-law and ask her if she wants the rest of this pattern the way that it is in the pattern but the, but she does it in the dark color so she would use the red and put the spots on in white however I was going to do it the way she asked me which is a white background and the spots red so it's saying um let me see what it says well, let's see yeah, so the 110 yards of your main color and 40 yards of your off color and then your uh, contrasting, I mean. And then you're going to um, have some eyes on these and then you would have the ear flap. So we'll, we'll discuss that later with her. But this pattern, you can use this for your hat for the month of September if you would like to and um, what I thought we would do is we would start out with the um, the circles so they she calls them spots so we're gonna do a slip knot to start and What are we doing here? Okay, she's she's doing eight half double crochets in the magic ring. So I'm going to chain two, and I'm going to do eight uh, half double crochets in that first, or the second, I should say, chain from the hook. So this is three. This is four. This is five. Six. Seven. And eight. Now you could do your magic loop here. I just decided that I'm not going to. So I'm going to slip stitch into the first one. And that is the start. And then round two, we're going to chain two. And we're going to do two into the same stitch. So two half double crochets into that same one. And then it says do two in every one around. So you will increase from eight in the first row to 16 in the second row. So we'll go ahead and do two in every one around. 
All right, now I can relax and talk about whatever. <laughs> so, uh, birthday. Uh, we did not go out to dinner last night on my birthday because um, we had to work at the shop. So, we are going to do that on Saturday together for our anniversary, which is also the same day as my birthday. But this will give us our time, our dinner alone. And then when the kids come home from vacation, we will go out next Sunday with them. So that way they get to go out with us still. Because I, family usually gets together on everybody's birthday at least one day sometime around the day of. So that was set for the 10th this, this time. And um, so if you want to check yourself and make sure that you have 16, just go back around and count. So we got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. So you want to slip stitch in the top of your um, half double crochet, not the chain 2. And that will complete your circle there. And I'm not doing anything that you guys haven't done before, I'm sure. It's just a way of getting content on the show and talking to everybody. So we're going to do it again. We're going to chain two for row three. And we're going to do two half double crochets in the first. And then it says to half double crochet in the next. And two half double crochets in the next. So every other stitch you will increase. And every other you will just do one. And your total for round three will be 24 stitches. So what do we do on Sunday the 10th is we will go out and if it's not raining... We're going to do miniature golf as a family, which is always fun. And we have this miniature golf course that has a zip line on the back part of it. No, we don't do the zip line. Uh-uh. No, not us. However, while you're there, a lot of times you'll see someone go down the zip line. And, of course, they're screaming. <laughs> or whatever. They're laughing. or And it's quite hilarious, I think, to watch that. And then they also have an ice cream stand there, so you can you can have an ice cream at the end. And I think our plans is to golf first this year and then go out to dinner. So we probably won't end up doing the ice cream um, that day. But, uh, yeah, that'll be fun. And so, uh, what else is going on? Oh, bowling season is going to start, and it is going to start with the Friday night league. So the first Friday will be the ace and every buddy will be in the, sh in the shop throughout the week, preparing for their league to start. Um, because after Friday starts, all the days will be starting. So then Saturday will start and that's junior bowling. So it's going to be crazy again. And so, and I know that, so I wanted to get together with all of you and do some videos and that way I feel that I'm, you know, still keeping in touch with everyone. So there is the end of each circle and she says to make about, let's see, how many of these are we making? Um, it doesn't say in this part. But I believe, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is this not done? Oh, there's a round four. Okay. All right, we'll do round four. I'm going to chain two again. <laughs> I didn't realize it. Two half double crochets in the first. And then half double crochet in the next two so you'll increase every third all right so we're going to do 
two half double crochets in the next and one half double crochet in the next two and then increase so your spots are going to be a little bigger than I thought because again with an H hook your spot is going to be this big and I, like I said I think you make three or four of these spots and then you sew them on your hat um, every so many stitches around and it, and it looks like the Mario mushroom hat I mean, it looks like the Mario mushroom. <laughs> and that was the mushroom that gave you power and stuff, right? You ate the mushroom. And it gave you energy, extra energy. Um, it's been a while since I played Mario, so you have to bear with me. But, uh, yeah, so the rest of the outfit that she's asked me to make is the, um, a diaper cover. And that diaper cover will have suspenders that go up over her uh, her shoulders that are blue and gold that uh, match the outfit that she showed me um, pictures of the Mario outfit. So the plan is to do the diaper cover in the white and then I have some blue and some gold scraps laying around that I'm going to use for the, the straps. So that'll be interesting to see that develop for the baby. And sh I asked her about, you know, how, you know, it's going to be cold. And she said, well, if you make the, um, the diaper cover big enough, it'll just go up and over the um, onesie that she's planning on um, putting on her. So I'm like, oh, okay, that's going to be cute then. So that makes total sense now. And so I won't have to do a, an entire outfit. I'll just do a, a you know, a, a diaper cover. So a pair of shorts, basically. And that'll be in the white. And then, then the strap. So this ought to be a fun project. If anyone else would like to do the whole outfit with me, let me know in the comments. Because if so, then I will do some more of these shorts together. And we will do a few more crocheting with Christy um, videos. So that is the circle for the hat today. And um, I'm planning on starting this hat off soon but again the pattern is down in the description box so take a moment out of each day be creative and I'll talk to you soon bye for now